How is it going, everyone? Welcome back to another video here on the channel. I am so excited for this one. If you watched my goal video, you know what's coming. We got that tackle warehouse order. We got that tackle warehouse order, boy. And so, without further ado, let's do this. Nope. This calls for the special unboxing blade. kind of dangerous. All right. What's this? Inventory. We don't need it. Oh. So like I said, we are getting into big swim baits this year. And guys, I I am so excited. First and foremost, since my order was a little over $50, you get that Tackle Warehouse sticker. We're going to put this on the drawer right now. Man, let's just get into it. Oh, ho, ho, ho. <laughs> this is so, I'm geeking right now. This is so cool. Um, a lot of this was on sale at Tackle Warehouse. I ordered this on Christmas Day. So a lot of this stuff was on sale and I got a pretty good deal for it. So this is the Savage Gear 3D Pulse Tail Blue Gill Line Through. Five and a half, three ounces, slow sink. Let's, let's break this in. Let's open it. Guys, I am geeking out right now. Oh man, this is so cool. Look at that. It's a flippin' bluegill, dude. Y'all, look at that. And it got, it got that wedge tail, so that's gonna kick back here. And it has SS on the back. Can you see that? Focus on that. SS on the back for slow sink. And so, this is lined through. So there's a slot, there's a hole right in the nose that there's a tube that goes through, goes to this treble hook. That treble hook fits right into there. These, this dorsal fin is collapsible, but oh man, it's all squishy. And this is like a super good pattern for a lot of the places I'll be fishing for some big ones. But look at that, y'all, that is cool. White belly. But then that goes through and attaches. You tie your line right to that hook. So when you catch the fish of a lifetime, they can't use the leverage of this bait to throw the hook. You're just fighting them on the hook and your bait slides up the line. It has a rattle in it. Y'all, this is so cool. And it also has a line through through the bottom if you wanted to rig a, a hook on the bottom. Dude, I'm geeking already. This is so cool. Oh, man. And that's like... That's a big bait. Let me... So this is... A 2.5 square bill crankbait compared to that bait. Look at that. That's crazy, man. This is so cool. Oh, man. I'm so excited. All right, let's get into the next one. So a different category of, of bait. Um, this is the... Savage Gear 3D Shine Glide. Well, let's get that out of the box here. Oh my gosh. So this is this is my first like big bait, first big rubber bait, and then this one. 
And like with it being slow sink, I can like fish it throughout the water column. And I'm probably just going to just slow roll this. Let's see how it looks. Now, those hooks are pretty sharp. I might sharpen them up a bit more. But then this is my first glide bait. So this is five and one quarter inch, one ounce. You can throw this on regular. It's a 135 size. You could throw this on probably most tackle. And it has a rubber tail. Oh, my God. let's get you guys a close up of that. Look at that. That thing is so cool! And there's just like, uh, I'm on Swim Bait Universe's Facebook group, and there's so much cool stuff out there. I'm geeking about it. But like, you know, all of it's like, a lot of those like garage builds and stuff are pretty expensive. And this has actually a sound dampener. Let's have has some rattles in it, but at the joint, there's like this little bit of like foam to dampen the sound of that clicking back and forth. But with the glide bait, it's just going to be a slow S wave pattern. So you twitch your rod or bring some line in, and it's going to go swim that way. And then it's going to swim that way when you twitch your reel in a little bit. And then if you go quicker, It'll go quicker, but yeah, so this is in a shiner pattern, but this is like a good profile, I feel like, for a lot of different fish. Because when you're swimming in this past an ambush point where a fish is looking at it, it's not going to be like, oh, look at that shiner. It's going to be like, that's food, I'm going to get it. Just like it's not going to be like, Say there's no bluegill. It's gonna see a big profile. It's gonna be like, can I fit that in my mouth? I think I can. Arr, arr, arr. Arr. Oh man. Okay, I wanna unbox something that's not savage gear. Seventy-five percent of this order is savage gear. Uh, so a lot of my painting has been through. Well, the blanks have been through. Do it, and I've really liked them. They're a crank blank line, and so they came out with these six point. These are heavy, dang. These six point. How big are these? These are like six point seven five inches. Anyway, they're about like a six inch bait. They're like about three ounces, but I wanted to. I was like, you know what, I figured I might as well paint some of my own, and then, because, you know, when you buy these, and they had a sale on these too, you don't just get one, you get five. So there's all these, and it's a glide bait as well, so it's gonna, just that S waving motion. So, a little, a little bit bigger, uh, a little bit, it's wider profile on the bottom, uh, about the same tall profile, but this one's a lot, this one's a lot heavier, this is almost three ounces, um, but then they also come with some rubber, let me break this open, some rubber tails that attached to the back as well. So I was super excited to get these just to like paint up some of my own. Um, and I have some patterns in mind and I figured it would make cool videos. <sighs> Dude, it'd be just so awesome to catch a swim bait fish in general, but to like catch one on the, like something that you've painted. And I've like, and like with the do it crank blanks, I've had like good success on those too. Like I think they, like swim really well and everything. Oh, they got like, I was like, what are these? These like, they got plastic rods to like, put in the holes to like secure the tail, but I just might, honestly, I'll probably just uh, epoxy or super glue those in. I, I think that'll, I think that'll be better. Maybe like put one in 
and then like epoxy and then put one in so it lines up right. But yeah, look at those. Those are those are sweet. Oh my gosh. And you know the thing is, like I don't think none of these baits are like over seven inches and people like catch fish on like baits that are bigger than these. So it's not gonna be about the quantity of fish that we catch in 2023. It's gonna be about the quality of fish that we catch in 2023. Hopefully, I'm super excited if everything goes to plan. We put these away. And like, do it, do they just have like a solid blank too? Like their sonic welded seams, I've got a couple other blanks that were cheaper. And they just like, I have problems with them and there's like defects and stuff like that. But like these have always been solid. All right, and then the last one, this is what I'm really excited about because the local, a lot of the local places around me stock uh, rainbow trout. So I got the Savage Gear 3D Pulse Tail Trout. This is six inches of fast sink and two and one third of an ounce. Oh, they got, they come with little stickers. It looks like the Savage Gear, look. Oh man. One sec, little trout. Stickers are important. Look, little Savage Gear sticker. And like, Savage Gear has like a super good reputation amongst, uh, I feel like especially like in the European market, um, when it comes to uh, big fish, predator, Throw that on there. Big fish predator fishing, uh, so you know, like uh, big pike and things like that. Look at that. But a lot of places around me stock rainbow trout. And so I was like, you know what? I need a rainbow trout pattern. And so this, this top line has a, there's a channel. And this is the, this is called the RTF um, system ready to fish. So they have this top hook and then they have a stinger hook back here, which I really like because, oh, those, these ones are really sharp, um, which I really like because if you have something short strike, you still got a good chance of a hookup versus like a lot of the other top hook rigged baits are like closer to the head. But also a wedge tail style, so I'm just gonna let this sink and I'm going to slow roll this across the bottom. This is so cool. I'm like, look at that. That looks like a that looks like a trout. It looks like a little six inch trout like rant okay but like one thing so if it was like an actual like trout of this size it would still be like juvenile and you would have like like faint blue bars like little, little ovals going through vertically so other than that it's like very realistic the waters around here are um they are super, um, super clear. They're pretty clear, um, but I'm excited for this. Where I feel like, I feel like all these things are gonna get munched. And you can see, the trout is bigger, but just how a bluegill is built, that like profile is big. So this will be like really cool around some other lakes and ponds that I plan to fish. I was talking to one of my classmates, shout out to Chauncey, you a real one. 
and we were talking about fishing our local area that we grew up and Chauncey and his dad are just sticks. They like are pretty legit fishermen. They have caught a lot of big fish and have caught a lot of good numbers so we were talking, I was talking about how I had some of this stuff in. I'll probably send him a picture. But, man, these are so cool. But that's going to do it for the unboxing. I kind of went on and on a little bit, but I'm just geeking out. I am so excited um, for all of this. And I hope you guys follow along with my swim baiting journey because... Honestly, it's probably going to be a grind. It's going to be hard. I'm going to be out there a lot. I'm going to be making a lot of casts. I'm going to be spending a lot of time on the water. But it's all going to be worth it because I don't care if I catch a pike, a bass, a smallmouth. Dude, a smallmouth on this would be really cool. I've never caught a smallmouth. Like, any type of bass, a pike, a muskie, a flippin', a walleye. I think a big rainbow brown or lake trout would munch this. I'm definitely going to fish it in some of those waters with like monster uh, brown trout in them. I know a couple spots. And then I'm going to be fishing this a lot, um, especially when I get to my hometown area because the main forage is going to be bluegill about this size like if you caught a bluegill this size that's like not a very big bluegill but this is a big bait so it's all relative but thank you so much for watching clicking in and like I said follow me on this journey if you do not follow me on my socials it's Facebook TikTok Instagram Fishbrain all at Buyer Lure Co. But thank you so much, and I am looking forward to ice out with you guys. Alright, we'll see you for the next one.